Today I'm going to be reacting and breaking down a song called The City Must Survive from the Frost Punk. Boom! Wow, starting really powerful already. Mm. Listen to that string arrangement right there. The accents are awesome. Wow, it, how it released the tension right there. Just to build it again, just like... In a few seconds. Listen to that accent. <laughs> oh, that brass gave me goosebumps right there. And releases the tension. Wow. Pretty cool. It has a lot of trailer like effects and hits. I like that. Oh my god, that descending pattern is so cool. Now he's harmonizing it. The, the string arrangement in this song is... really cool. Great transition with the symbol. That's how I like the symbols in arrangements, you know. really good how it builds the song builds and then releases the tension and this is the like the blizzard frost effect at the end that was really cool let's break it down the whole song exudes danger and urgency and listen no wonder because the track is called the city must survive so this is literally a survival scenario the introduction of the song is very foreboding with the high tremolo strings on top and the more up and low strings on the lower end which create a lot of tension right from the get-go but it also sounds incredibly balanced because like i said before there's some there's a layer on top and a layer on the bottom and they both balance balance itself out 
Also, the song has a lot of accents to make the song not only punchier, but also more menacing and poignant on the struggle that is translated into the music. Also, I think the theme of the song and its subsequent elaboration into a phrase is the perfect translation for the struggle that is imbued within the track. Because it really embodies what I mentioned before, which is the danger and urgency of this situation. This is a survival tale. And also, I think we can attribute that to the tempo of the track, which is fairly, you know, fast. And tempo basically means how fast you play a piece of music. And that by itself, it is on the upper tempo, you know, if it's a faster tempo, that by itself creates a lot of urgency. I also think that the song has really good tension dynamics considering that the song needs a lot due to the very premise of the title of it. And probably one of the most crucial things that we hear in the track is the, the descending pattern that we hear in the solo violin towards the end of a song. Because I think it works as a storytelling device of a potential fall or demise of a city. But since it repeats, it's like humanity falls but then stands up again and then falls again. We can even relate this to our personal life. So in every struggle, we also have uh, ups and downs. It is a constant cycle of a constant struggle. Nevertheless, the resolution of the song is very dark. We only hear the, the effect of the blizzard at the end, which could mean that the city eventually succumbed to the frostbitten doom. So I think I'm gonna give this track an A tier. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out this other breakdown that I did. And if you would like to support my work further, you can check the support section in the description of this video, where you can find my Patreon and all the other links, alright? Thank you very much.